Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about lab-grown diamonds LGDs. 1. Lab-made diamonds are developed from a carbon seed placed in a microwave chamber and superheated into a glowing plasma ball. To the only difference between lab-grown diamond and natural diamond is that instead of digging the earth, it is created in a lab under a machine. 3. Lab-grown diamonds cost 30 to 40 percent cheaper than mined despite being 100 percent diamond. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. Lab-made diamonds are developed from a carbon seed placed in a microwave chamber and superheated into a glowing plasma ball. The process creates particles that crystallize into diamonds in weeks. The only difference between lab-grown diamond and natural diamond is that instead of digging the earth, it is created in a lab under a machine. This tech-based manufacturing directly cuts down the capital and labor-intensive factors of the mined diamond chain and so lab-grown diamonds cost 30 to 40 percent cheaper than mined despite being 100 percent diamond. There are two types of lab-grown diamonds, CVD and HPHD. India particularly specializes and leads in the chemical vapor decomposition, CVD, technology that is certified as the purest type of diamonds. Question 2 As per the Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses, OXO Act of 2012, consider the following statements. 1. It criminalizes sex between a minor and an adult. 2. Section 19, OXO Act imposes a mandatory reporting obligation. 3. Sexual assault under POXO is a non-bailable, non-cognizable offense. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is A. Sexual assault under POXO is a non-bailable, cognizable offence. Under Section 19, POXO Act imposes a mandatory reporting obligation which requires every person who suspects or has knowledge of a sexual offence being committed against a child must report it to the police or the Special Juvenile Police Unit. Failure to do so will result in imprisonment, a fine or both. These mandatory reporting obligations also require doctors to report cases where minor girls seek medical assistance during pregnancies or for termination of pregnancies. Question 3 With reference to the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006, consider the following statements. 1. It says that child marriages are illegal and void. 2. The Act stipulates 18 years as the minimum marriageable age for women, while for men it is 21 years. 3. E Act punishes child marriage with rigorous imprisonment which may extend to 2 years or with fine which may extend to 1 lakh rupees or with both. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is D. The Prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006 says that child marriages are illegal but not void. Instead, they are voidable at the option of the minor party in the scenario that the minor petitions the court to declare the marriage void. The punishment also extends to anyone who performs, conducts, directs, or abets any child marriage and includes rigorous imprisonment of up to two years and a fine which may extend to one lakh rupees unless proven that he had reasons to believe that the marriage was not a child marriage. Question 4 With reference to Culadio National Park, consider the following statements. 1. It is a famous avifauna sanctuary in Bharatpur, Rajasthan. 
Two, it is also a World Heritage Site. Three, it is named after a Kyoladio, Shiva, temple within its boundaries. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One and two only. B. One and three only. C. One, two and three. D. Three only. The answer is C. Question 5 with reference to the Chandrayaan program, consider the following statements. 1. Chandrayaan 3, expected to be launched at the end of 2023, will have a lander and a rover. To the moon's northern polar region is of particular interest to scientists because there is a possibility of finding water ice. 3. The Chandrayaan program, also known as the Indian Lunar Exploration Program, is an ongoing series of outer space missions by ISRO. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. The moon's southern polar region is of particular interest to scientists because there is a possibility of finding water ice. The first moon rocket, Chandrayaan-1, was launched in 2008 and was successfully inserted into the lunar orbit. Chandrayaan-2 was successfully launched and inserted into lunar orbit in 2019, but its lander crash-landed on the moon's surface when it deviated from its trajectory while attempting to land on 6 September 2019 due to a software glitch. Question 6. Consider the following statements about Rajasthan's open prison model. 1. Prisoners who have served half their sentences can shift to open jails. 2. Convicts staying on community land without high walls or strict surveillance. 3. Inmates of central and district jails with a track record of good conduct are regularly identified to make the move to the open prisons where they are allowed to live with family members and earn their livelihoods. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is D. Prisoners who have served one-third of their sentences are eligible to shift to open jails. Question 7. What is a follow-on public offer, FPO? 1. An FPO is a process wherein a company that is already publicly listed in the stock market issues additional shares to investors. 2. An FPO is similar to an initial public offering, IPO, except that an IPO refers to the issuance or sale of shares by a company to investors when it taps into the public market for the very first time. Three companies can float an FPO to raise equity capital for various reasons such as to pay off debt or to improve their capital structure. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. Question 8. Consider the following statements about Wolf 1069b recently in news. 1. Recently discovered an Earth Mars exoplanet that could potentially be habitable. 2. The lack of intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar activity could have preserved the atmosphere of Wolf 1069b. 3. It was discovered that the planet was orbiting the star in less than 16 days at a distance equivalent to 1 15th of the separation between the Earth and the Sun. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.